there's tremendous work going on, and, and a lot of it is driven by investment from pharmaceutical companies in, in creating better treatments. You know, prior to uh, very recently, we had uh, a handful of treatments that were FDA approved for this. The only systemic treatment that was FDA approved was uh, systemic corticosteroids, and w that's relatively contraindicated, so it's ironic that that, that, that was the recommendations that, that were made. But there's a, been a huge explosion in, um, in research of, uh, on, on every level, basic science and uh, psychological and medical, but it's, atopic dermatitis is really not a single disease. It's a, it's, it's a phenotype that marks m many different reasons for it, and so we don't, we don't really have a great pathophysiologic mechanism, mm -hmm. but, but overarching and overriding is that it's driven by um, a type 2 immunity, so that's sort of the allergy immunity. We evolved with that allergy immunity probably to uh, protect us against parasites because that's a kind of immunity that, um, that is triggered by parasitic infections, but we, our bodies don't see parasites anymore. And when babies are born, though, they have that kind of a overdrive of type 2 immunity, and as they mature, their immunity in a normal situation kind of reverts into type 1 immunity. It's not quite so simple as that dichotomous relationship between those, those two kinds of immunity, and there's, there's other, there's T regulatory and IL-17 immunity that also play a role, but, but T, T, type 2 immunity is, is thought to play the biggest role overarching with all forms of atopic dermatitis, and that's why the early uh, biologic investigations that are happening are directed towards that kind of immunity, so targeting that kind of immunity rather than just sort of immunosuppressing you, which is the older um, treatment approach. Elucidating the uh, more targeted pathways for type 2 immunity has been really um, something that's happened over oh, the past couple decades. But it's, you know, once you have a targeted treatment, and especially a targeted treatment that is um, so effective, you know, it, it really underscores and supports the pathophysiology of the disease. <laughs> People keep looking at it for all other kinds of reasons, you know, food and the dog and the cat, environmental allergens is causing atopic dermatitis. But, you know, if you can turn it off with a targeted immunotherapy, it tells you a lot more about it. The differences between children with atopic dermatitis and adults with atopic dermatitis um, I can't speak scientifically, but uh, we think they're basically the same. I think for children, especially adolescents, when you have uh, hormones and you reach uh, adolescence, uh, you got a new ball game going on. And for some with uh, uh, puberty, they may see a lessening of their disease, and others, that is the time when it skyrockets. Uh, so we have much more to learn uh, about that.